Hi guys, so the time has come. Wrath of Cause is now live on the Game Crafter. Stupid camera. And I just want to quickly say thanks to everyone within the homemade TCG community. Uh, obviously, I'm glad that I was accepted so quickly and I have so many subscribers and acknowledgements uh, from all the other TCG creators out there. Everyone who has or is making a TCG. Uh, you know, we all know that everybody puts every ounce of uh, effort into their games and can, obviously, well, everyone can only really improve um, on making such games. So, now we have free products on the Game Crafter available. A twin deck pack, which contains both the Deck of Honor and the Deck of Darkness. A support pack which contains 33 terrain cards, the black and the white cores, a rule book and a guaranteed rare relic to help give your uh, your own decks a little bit of a speed boost. Uh, and finally the boost packs which you know we all know what boost packs do. Uh, each one contains 18 cards, uh, 9 commons, 6 uncommons, 2 rares and our royalty rares and a glare card. My god I nearly forgot that. Um, a glare card can be basically be of any rarity, so each booster pack has a chance of um, containing free rares, or you know, if you're lucky, free royalty rares. Um, as you're aware, the first block which I've released is called GVE 2016. GVE stands for the old, good old traditional good versus evil, uh, and it's the reason it's 2016 was because I started work on this TCG in 2016 so yeah it's not exactly out of date as such so in this block there will be a total of three pre-constructed decks two which I've just mentioned the third one will be released in the near future along with uh, a load more different cards for you to find in the booster packs in the coming months weeks whatever depending how quickly I get my ass shifted really uh, there's a website online for you guys to read up on uh, for the current rulings and I've just made a very quick wiki page which is wrathofcores.wikia.com uh, the website is wrathofcores.webs.com um, in the near future I will also try and host a couple of competitions uh, and if anyone's up for it perhaps even a few online streams or, or leagues or you know something along the lines of that it'd be pretty cool to to organize something like that um the release of wrath of cores on the game crafter is basically only the beginning uh i've got much more planned for it uh with many ideas for the future uh for the future sets and the future blocks and after gve 2016 i will also host a vote with two or three answers uh and basically get you guys judging what you want to see in future blocks. So uh, I think that's pretty cool because obviously I've got all these ideas in my head. Uh, I don't exactly know what you guys want next, you know, dragons or something like that. Uh, so, you know, after after the end of GVE, I'll probably put a, uh, like a voting system online or something like that and whoever, whichever one gets the most votes uh, will prevail. So I think that's a pretty cool little, uh, pretty cool little thing for you guys to you know to keep you all interested. Uh, I also aim to be buying more cards at some point, not necessarily from Wrath of Cores, but more so from other more popular homemade TCGs. Um, you know the ones: Chaos Galaxy, Randomopolis, Quest TCG. Uh, there's quite a few which have made, uh, which have been quite active recently. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can try and get something together between all of the popular TCG creators just to try and bring something together um, for out for us and indie gamers, crafters and supporters. Um, you know, hopefully something pretty big. Finally, I would just like to note that if you are interested in buying Wrath of Core cards, uh, be sure to upload a video of your openings and your games, your questions and your suggestions, etc. Uh, and I'll be sure to come across them, you know, 
even if you just means you guys post in the comments on one of my videos uh, and I'll be sure to go you know in my spare time I'll, I'll be sure to watch through as many videos what you guys put up of Wrath of Cause because it means a big thing to me um, you know to see other people enjoying my game and my ideas and stuff like that uh, and if you do I'll be sure to shout out your channel or put you all in like one big video uh, to hopefully you know spread the word for other people because like there's one you know there's one guy in particular on youtube um tcg art and other random things you know when when i first started he he first started out not long after me and he he only had about what, 20 subscribers something like that puts the video on unpacking chaos galaxy cards all of a sudden that video has got 1500 views and he's got a couple of hundred subscribers so obviously I can't give you them figures but you know it's all in the aid of uh, supporting the homemade TCG community and uh, and that's what we all stand for really so be sure to check out everyone else um, you know Cards at Home has got some something coming as well can't be saying too much on that <laughs> um, as well as these two games so yeah that's basically it in this video guys so yeah it's it's on the game crafter for you guys um if you do decide to buy any thank you very much and i will hopefully try and get some shout outs pretty soon and get some games streaming on youtube uh it should be quite fun anyway guys that's the end of this video, thanks for your support, and I'm going to get straight on with creating the second part of GVE. See you later guys.